everyone, welcome to Boom and Bigs TV. Today I have a really exciting haul to share with you guys. This is a haul from Stein Mart's going out of business sale where their shoes were $8 and everything else was 80% off. So Biggs and I, between yesterday and today and three different trips to two different Stein Marts, spent a total of $550 on almost $5,000 worth of merchandise to resell on eBay. As you guys might know, we do buy and resell mostly clothing and shoes on eBay. So I'm just excited to show you guys what we got because we got some really amazing deals. So here are all the receipts from the three trips that we made to Steinmart. And as you can see, we spent 73, 312 and 163. So you can see all of the $8 shoe charges and the clothing was all 460, a dollar 99, 160, a dollar 39, five dollars. Some of the dresses were twelve dollars, ten dollars, seven dollars. All of this stuff is really great deals. So we actually made our first trip to our local Stein Mart yesterday and got all these great deals. So today we were actually in Durham visiting one of my students and good friend Gabrielle. She was actually set up with her coffee shop, Gabby's Grounds, at this little market. I think it was called um, Bright Spirit Harvest Market. So we went out there just to see her. I hadn't seen her in a while. We got some coffee to drink there and some goodies and got to get a good hug and get a picture together. So it was really nice to see her. And if you're interested in any of Gabby's Grounds products or checking out just to see what she has, please visit the link that I will put in the description below. So anyway, we were there and then we got this idea to look for another Steinmart location. So I'm not sure why we didn't do that yesterday yesterday but we did end up going to a different location on the way home and they had way more stuff and that's actually where the really long receipt came from we did find a lot more stuff there so this is all of the shoes you guys this is 40 pairs of shoes and they were each eight dollars there's different brands there's a lot of vince camuto there's another brand of vince camuto it's the imagine brand um, Anne Klein, Fergalicious by Fergie, there's some Jessica Simpson, and then there are a couple pairs of this Louis Etsy, I do not know how to pronounce that, but this is actually also a Vince Camuto brand. So of course I had to get about five pairs of shoes for myself because you can't really beat the price, so... I did keep a couple pairs for myself. And this is all of the clothing that we got. So some really exciting stuff. So I'm gonna start by showing you guys the clothes really quick. There's a couple of Lucky Brand t-shirts for little girls. And they have a little tie at the bottom, really cute. I think these were like $2 each. And there's a couple of Little Boys Levi's shorts, and these have $42 tags. And these were each about $4. So I think there's two pairs of these. And then more Little Boys shorts, but these ones are Hurley Nike Dry Fit. So these have $35 value tag, and these were about $4 each as well. And I think there are four pairs of these. Mm -hmm. And then there's actually two more pair, but in a different color. But these are also the Hurley Nike Dry Fit shorts. And again, for little boys. Next are the dresses, and we actually spent a little bit more on the dresses, so they were about $10 to $12 a piece for most of them, maybe $8 for some of them, but they're all pretty nice. So we have two of these Eliza J dresses retailing at approximately $128. 
The next dress is a Gal Meets Glam, which is a pretty expensive brand. And as you see, there's a $188 tag on this dress, and this cost us $10 or $12. The next dress is this really pretty floral Siriano, I hope I'm saying that right, dress. This retails for $169, and we paid $12. The next dress is this Sherigano denim dress, and this retails for $118. We paid approximately $10. And the last dress is this really pretty Vince Camuto dress, and this retails for $148. So we did pretty good on the dresses, but we didn't buy too many of them there were a lot more left on the rack but being that they were 10 and 12 dollars each we kind of took it easy on those next is the men's stuff so the first item is a pair of pga tour pants and let's see if i can find some information here these have a retail value of 75 dollars and I'm not sure the exact prices of these items because Biggs picked these out. I could look on the receipt, but I know we didn't pay over $12 for any item. Next is this men's shirt by Alan Flusser. These retail for around $80. Next is a pair of pants with little bows on them. These are also by Alan Flusser. And these rang up for $1.60. So they retail for $125. Steinmart's original price was $39.99 minus 80% off, which was $8. And somehow another 80% got put on top of that. I don't know if the cashier made a mistake or what, but they ended up ringing up for $1.60. So when we got home and saw that, we actually went right back to Steinmart because we remembered there being at least like six or eight more pair. So we were going to go get them. And when we got there, it rang up for $8. So it definitely was a mistake the first time around. But we at least went back and tried. And we ended up buying a few more things that time as well. Which was the third receipt, the smallest receipt. Next is another pair of men's PGA Tour golf pants. And the retail value on these is $65. Next, there are two pair of Ralph Lauren pants for boys size 18 and next is two pair of Ralph Lauren pink men's pants and the sign mark price on these was $39.99 retail value $95 we paid approximately $8 for these and the last pair of men's pants are by Perry Ellis and Biggs actually got these for himself there are two pair of little girls skinny jeans, really nice stretchy skinny jeans. Um, each of these rang up for $1.99, and we were hoping there were more of them once they rang up that low, but there weren't. One pair is by Imperial Star, and the other pair is Wallflower, and the retail value on these is $42. There wasn't a retail on the other ones, but they're really cute. I love these. And for the clothing, there's just a couple other random items. This top, which was only a couple dollars, I thought it was cute. And this top as well, which I actually got for myself. I like the little tie in the front. And it's kind of like casual but dressy at the same time. So that's for me. And this little skirt skirt. This is by Attire, I believe. Yep. And this was only a couple dollars as well. And I got this really cute necklace for myself. This was $4. So now let's get on to the shoes, which to me is the most exciting part. There's so many cute pairs of shoes for only $8 each. And the retail value on these shoes is anywhere between $40 all the way up to like $160 retail value for these. So they're all different brands, all different values, but they were all only $8. So there's definitely profit in all of them, even with giving the customers a really good deal. So that's exciting. 
So I'm not going to open every single box, but I just want to show you guys a few of the shoes because they're so cute. So these are Vince Camuto. So adorable little wedges. This is a little pair of heels by Life Stride. I got these for myself. I have no idea how much they retail for. Another pair of Vince Camuto shoes. Just these little brown wedges. These are cute too. These mauve lace-up wedges. Most of these Vince Camuto shoes, Steinmart had priced at $69.99 originally, but they are already a discount store, so they would retail higher at a different store. And again, $8 for us. This is the same one you've already seen. And these are Vince Camuto as well. These holographic heels. More Vince Camuto. And these are actually the only size 8 that we found at either location. Most of the shoes that we saw there were sizes 5 through 7.5. And, and we tried to get mostly 6 through 7.5. We didn't pick up any of the 5s. Um, it's not too common of a size, I don't believe. But there weren't too many 8s. I didn't see any 9s there. Next is a pair by Imagine, which is also a Vince Camuto brand. And these are just gold and black heels. And a lot of these didn't even have the Steinmart prices on them, but if you look online, you see that these are worth quite a bit of money. More Vince Camuto. These are cute. We got a couple pairs of these brown heels. Another pair of Imagine by Vince Camuto. And these are like wedge heels. More Vince Camuto. And these are just little red heels. We got a couple pairs of Jessica Simpson shoes. These are adorable. I really like these. So they actually have this little Velcro strappy thing back here. So you can make it really tight on your ankle, which I love. And it just looks cool. I really like those. I actually got a pair for myself. This is Corso Como. Never heard of this brand before, but these are really cute wedges. And I love that they have this strappy thing back here to fit nice and snug. There are a couple of pairs of shoes by Luis Etsai, like I said before. Don't know how to pronounce that name, but it is, again, a Vince Camuto brand. So these I thought were really cute. So there isn't a retail value on these, but when I looked up the brand, their shoes retail for around $160. Here's another pair by the same brand. These are really cute just plain black wedges. Everyone needs a pair of these. And another pair by the same brand. These are just little black heels. And the last pair by that same brand. These are cute as well. Look at these wedges, you guys. Here's another Vince Camuto shoe. I believe we got two pairs of these. This is a pair by Abella True Comfort. And this is a pair of black wedges. This was the only one, and they're a size 7. So I'm keeping these. More Vince Camuto. And these are just bright neon yellow heels. This is just a really sparkly pair of sandals. I'm not sure of the brand on these. Let's see. White Mountain. This is an adorable pair of sandals by Ann Klein Sport. And these are for me. Here's a pair by IMPO. These are just little sandals that pull on. Here's a pair by Crown Vintage. These are some platform wedge sandals. Another pair by Jessica Simpson. Look at these, you guys. These are so interesting. Biggs loves these. These are actually really heavy ankle boots. And here's a cute pair of heels by Ann Klein. And there's one pair of shoes by Fergalicious by Fergie. These are wedge sandals. And another pair of Jessica Simpson heels. Here's another pair by Vince Camuto. These are like a nude heel. 
And the last pair of shoes is a Vince Camuto, and this is just a pink pair of heels. And many of the shoes I've checked so far are made with all man-made materials, which is really good, especially for the animals. So that was all the shoes, and again, many of them had several of one type, so I didn't open every single box to show you guys every single shoe. But you get the idea. We did really well. We're really excited to go ahead and get this stuff photographed and listed. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>